What's good YouTube, Stormy B Man here back with another video. For more content of this kind, please like, comment, subscribe and share. First off, I'd like to say shout out to the LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community and New Media. This Saturday, April 13th, PBC and Fox Sports 1 are putting on a 13 fight card with Peter Quinlan as a main event taking on Caleb Truett in an IBF 160 pound, 168 pound eliminator. The undercard will also feature the return of Sergei Deborinchenko taking on Jack Kolke. Derbychenko is coming off a split decision loss to Danny Jacobs and is looking to get right back into the thick of the division. He's now 12 and 1 with 10 KOs. Hailing from the Ukraine, even the likes of Triple G have avoided him in the pros due to his extensive amateur background and experience. He's a very good boxer people. Kolke is 25-3 with 13 knockouts. He's from Ecuador and is a boxer who lost a split decision to Demetrius Andrade in 2017 for the title he held, which was a WBA Junior Middleweight Championship. It was his fourth defense of the title when he dropped the decision to Andre. This could potentially provide some rounds for Sergey. Class should prevail easily here, being the undercard is so flooded with bouts, there are bound to be some good scraps. Debrinchenko, who's looking to stay active, believing that activity will pay dividends in an era where champions fight once and barely twice a year. I believe he can be su extremely successful with this impression. The fighters of today, champions in particular, are just not looking to defend and after a couple of paydays they're getting like fat cats. They don't move around. Kolke is a fighter who could be looking at this opportunity with ambition. Devonchenko has a name, has the prestige and luster to get him right back into the thick of things himself. But I'm not so certain that he is in the same class. Devonchenko has good combination, decent power, and knows how to use the ring as well as fight. He gave Danny Jacobs all he could handle. So on a fight card that is featuring Quinlan and Truax, this is a fight that the fans may enjoy as a teaser for the main event. Once again, this is Stormy B-Man coming at you with a little information about a fight card not being talked about very much but people may want to tune in. And if you happen to be watching the other broadcast, you may want to record it so you can re review it. Or if you like me, you can watch it on multiple devices, TV, phone, tablet, iPad. So there you go. This is Stormy B-Man. That's all I have at this time. Until then, I'll talk to you soon.